Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about an app called Nearpod. Here's the title in the middle in blue, Nearpod. The icon for Nearpod is this symbol here. It's a blue circle with two white rhombuses. So if you see that on your iPad, you would just click on that and it will take you to join a session. So to join a session, your teacher will give you a special code that's just for this lesson. And you're gonna type it in here. So I'm gonna click on the text box and I'm gonna type in the special code that my teacher gave me. Once I finish doing that, I'm gonna click join. And here we are, it's gonna take me to our lesson. Hey, my name's already on here. But if your name isn't there, go ahead and type it in and then join the lesson. So today, we're not really gonna do this lesson. I wanna show you what different pages look like. So this is just a page that has information, lots of words on it, but it also has a play button down here in the corner. Do you see this arrow? If you click on it, it's going to play the message or something that the teacher wants you to know. I'm gonna press it, it's gonna start talking, and then you'll see two little lines which are a pause button. I'm gonna press that again so you can see how you can start and stop it. Here I go. And then I can stop it. Now, once you finish listening to the entire message, you're going to go to the next page. So to get to the next page, do you see this arrow here, way over on the right hand side? I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna move to the next slide. Oops, I think I went too far. Well, you know what? That's what happens with technology sometimes. So I think I need to go back and I'm on slide two. So here we are. On this slide here, I have a video. It's from National Geographic Kids. When I click on it, I'm gonna watch this video, and then when I'm done, I'm going to move to the next slide. So I'll start it for you, but I'm not gonna watch the whole thing now. Okay, so that slide, we learned about a video. This is gonna explain what kind of question your teacher might give you. This is called an open-ended question, okay? And again, down here is the play button. If you press it, the person is gonna tell you what this message says. When you're done, go to the next slide, click. And here is an open-ended question. So when you see an open-ended question, you're going to see words at the top. This says type or record one fact you learned about army ants, then go to the next slide. But if you couldn't read that, there is the message right there. You would just click on that and the teacher's going to read it for you. Now on this page, there's two ways you can record your answer. The first way is in this big text box, just like if you had a text box in another app. You just click on it and you would start to type, I learned, and you would keep going. But if typing is a little hard for you, you can also record your answer. And that's where the microphone is. You just click on the microphone and you start talking. So I'm gonna start talking and I'm gonna give my answer and tell what I learned about army ants. And when I'm done, I'm gonna press this red square. Now I can go back and listen to what I said there. And if I don't like it, come over here to the trash can and I can say, oh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Delete it, wait, and it's telling you, do you wanna delete it? Yes, I don't want it. I really did not like what I said. And I'll delete it and it's blank again. And if I want, I can click on it and I could start recording my answer again. And when I'm done, I'll click on the red square again. Once you finish with this page, you'll notice down at this other bottom, the last thing you need to do before you leave the page is the submit button. So that means that you have answered the question and you want to show it to your teacher. So you will click on that. 
the answer goes to your teacher and then it goes to the next slide. Now, when you're doing activities, you're not going to do all of these different kinds of questions, but we're kind of going over them now for you. So again, this is a draw it question. Here down here is that play button. If you play that, the teacher will read to you. And then you go to the next page because look, there is no blue submit button. So when I click onto the next slide, oh wow, there's a lot going on on this page. So always start way up in this left hand corner and that's usually where you'll start on a page and then you'll do the activities in the middle and then at the end. So here is a link. This is going to take me outside of Nearpod because there's a video that they want to see. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to look like this movie. And I get to watch this movie. And then when I'm done, I can pause it and go up to the top here. Now, I don't know if you've learned about this yet with computers, but here's these tabs. This is the one we want. We want to go back to the Nearpod one. So I can either X this out or I can just go here. I think I'm just going to exit out right now. So I finished watching this movie and it says use the drawing tools to show how the dog was kind to the bird. So way down here are my drawing tools. I can use a marker, I can choose a color, and I can draw on here whatever I want to draw. I can use a glow pen if I want to use that. I can put in a text box. Maybe I want my print to be in blue and I can start to type the dog. Again, if I don't like it, here's my trash can. I can just trash it, okay? So some of the tools that you can use. When you're done, over here's the submit button. That means that I want my teacher to see what I did here, so I will submit my answer. Okay, now this is saying you're almost done because there is a, one other kind of question you might answer. So if I can't read that, I'm always looking for the play button. And then after I've listened to what I have to do, I'm going to click to the next slide. <gasps> this is a poll. So a poll is where you pick one answer. Usually there's not a correct answer. The teacher just wants to know something about how you're feeling or something that you have that might be your favorite or what your preference is. So in this one, they just wanted to know how you felt about doing a Nearpod lesson. So if you felt good, maybe you would click, A, hey, I got it. Or if you're not so sure, maybe you can change your answer. See if I can just change my answer there. And then when you're done, you're gonna click Submit. And when you cl click Submit, you'll get to this page. And this tells you that you're done. You're all done with your lesson. So this was a quick, quick, review, sorry, of Nearpod. Soon you're going to actually do this lesson, but I hope today you learned how you can move about in Nearpod and use the different tools.